Hey, my name is Mr. Mill here in West Point, Illinois. All right, let's head to work. All right, we made it to Homestead Elementary, and uh, this is the main entrance when you walk into the building. Um, in order to get to my classroom, we just got to go through the LRC, which is the library. It's right over here, and it's got to go down this corridor over here. So there's a library over here. Over there used to be the old computer lab. And there is a drinking fountain right here. Now, normally you could tell which day you go to art, music, PE, just by looking at this little schedule over here. So specials D-Day. Um, over here is um, the art award wall. So this is where I put like K through five winners of each month. And over here is where I'd normally hang artwork on the wall. So you can see that very clearly. So here's my room, Mr. Mill, and right beside it is music. So Mrs. Johnson. So um, right now I'm gonna be filming in here and uh, you guys can join me. So let's just close the door and let's get going. All right, so now that we're inside a classroom, it's the lens, yeah, it's the lens right there. Um, I can show you guys around my art room. So this is the art room, you guys can't see. I'm gonna turn on the lights so you guys can see fully. Here we go. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the art room if you guys were back in the classroom. So let's get going. So the art room is set up in a big U shape, as you can see right here. And there's a demonstration in the middle, along with my desk and the computer table over there, all facing the, uh, or I should say, facing the classroom, I should say. Um, but mainly, I'm here in the center, along with walking in the inside and outside of this U. So over here, let's just start from this side of the room, which is basically the entrance, and then uh, let's make our way around. So over here by the door, uh, we have the trash can, we have the recycling bin. Uh, we have the rules over here. I'm gonna go over the rules with you guys in the beginning. Um, it's, start, it's sand for art, or arts. <laughs> I added in another one. And the class rules are as follows. Always do your best, respect others, Tools should be used properly and stay quiet and seated. So that's normally my rules and it's pretty simple. It used to be a lot more. It used to say artist, but I shortened it so it's nice and easy. Um, over here is normally where the supplies are. Um, it's kind of packed at the moment, but uh, over here is the basic supplies such as your pencils, your glue sticks, your erasers, some sharpeners, and so on. Um, let's move to the left and then uh, we'll go from there. So over here, this is called the kiln room. The reason why it's called the kiln room is because it houses a kiln. Now, if you guys don't know what a kiln is, it's where you fire clay, and uh, it fires for eight hours to about, let's see if I can find it, right there, 2,185 degrees Fahrenheit, and it goes for eight hours, and it makes clay nice and hard. So um, we do this every year, once per grade level, but this year, obviously, we can't do it. And this is where the supplies are, such as um, clay tools, black chalk, some other miscellaneous stuff, uh, clay stilts, and so on. I have a roller here and some miscellaneous stuff over here as well. So this is normally not as crowded as it is, but we're not having school this year in school. So that's that. Um, over here, uh, we have uh, a drying rack. So it just goes up and down and you can space our work so it can dry. Um, filing cabinet, stuff for fundraisers, um, clubs, and then lessons. Uh, here's a supply closet, so no students can go in here, but I can show you what's going on. Uh, it's all packed up at the moment, so you can see a bunch of stuff such as the paint, uh, the books, the markers, crayon, uh, markers crayons, and um, whatnot over there. And there's a <laughs> unicorn head. And uh, that's basically it for this area. Um, this is where the sink area is. There's going to be a lower sink, which is kind of lowered a little bit, and then two other sinks over there, along with uh, two wipe dispensers and the soaps, soap dispensers as well. I normally have some more examples over here of mine, and uh, you can see a couple of posters have fallen uh, around the room, but we'll discuss that later. Um, you don't need to worry about what's inside the cabinets, it's just paint, uh, nothing's put out obviously. Uh, right where the stools are is normally where the uh, markers and crayons would go, and the scissors and stuff like that, and colored pencils, but as you can see, the stools are up here instead of down there. So if you could sit some here, I just can show you. Uh, the tables are organized by color. Uh, we have uh, a total, I don't know where the other one went, <laughs> we're missing one, I gotta find it. Um, but anyways, tables are organized by color, I think I can show you guys better when they're facing the front of the room. So we'll go from there. So over here, big large cutting board, uh, dangerous uh, cutting mat, you don't want to touch that, but since you guys are here, we don't have to worry about that. Over here we got uh, class folders organized by grade level inside these drawers, so we have kindergarten. So if you're a kindergartner and you're in Ms. Rinaldi's class, KR, so that's you guys. If you guys are missing, we're not manual class, K 
KM. So that's how you organize by grade level. So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, and along with old projects and posters and borders. So here's, let's check another one. Here's their grade. So 3E. 3E is, you guessed it, would be Miss Eglin's class. So there's that. There's a stencil drawer. Uh, nothing's changed over here. Um, wait, did I miss something? Oh yeah, art vocab wall. Uh, let's see, elements of art. And the color was back here so I can reference it really quickly. Um, I like to have things like not so much in the front of the room, so I have you guys turn your heads more. Um, I like that. Nice view on the outside. I try not to close the blind unless it's uh, a big distraction like when recess is going on. Um, <laughs> again, more posters falling down. Um, I made this board a long time ago, I think seven years ago, and it's really nice. I really like it. It's one of my favorites. You can see Van Gogh's Starry Night and then the Batman. You can see uh, which one's the real one or try to guess which one's the real one. They're pretty obvious though, so I mean, shouldn't be too hard to, to guess. <laughs> uh, so here's my desk set up over here. Um, I just can just enter over here. I normally have a sign over here. Oh, here it is. So that way kids can't enter. So it says, stop. No students beyond this point. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, that way normal, uh, normally during the school year, no kids can enter over here. So over here, we have some project folders for myself alone. So these are the teacher examples. So I made everything inside these folders. So for instance, this fifth grade, I think. Yep, fifth grade. You can see some projects here. Um, here's another one. This is a big one because I used to teach uh, high school. So things were a little bit bigger. <sighs> that was like eight years ago, I think. But anyways, that's that. Here's my view. Uh, I'm never like, really sitting down here. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was in paternity leave and then the quarantine happened. So that's why this uh, paternity leave schedule still up here. I left, I think, uh, March 3rd. And then my son was born March 5th. And then I just never came back to school because uh, everything went to lockdown. So there's that. Um, there's my phone, the computer. You guys don't need to worry about that. Desk area. I'm here remotely at the moment. Giving you guys a tour. It's Wednesday, by the way. And I don't know why I'm looking at my watch, but there's that. Um, you can hear the I can statements for kindergarten through fifth grade. Uh, I don't. I always forget about it like throughout the year, but uh, it's up there. And then we go over stuff like that. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so we normally talk about voice levels. Uh, I've been talking about the kids about like how the voice levels has been trying to reach a three and a four, and we normally should be staying at uh, either a zero to one. Uh, normal talking voice is okay sometimes unless it gets really crazy because then when like there's like a whole classroom full of kids uh, Sometimes two could be a little too much and uh, my tables fit around like four stools per table So four kids per table. So again do the math. It's a lot of kids But with social distancing if we ever come back, I don't know how that's gonna look like but uh, that's how it goes So anyway, here's my demonstration table and I guess from here you guys can see how the tables are organized by color uh, you see, green table, orange table, yellow table, teal, purple. It's supposed to be blue, but I don't know where the sign went. And then over here is red table. So there's that. Uh, the, you guys have never been in my art room before. These skateboards represent the six character pillars. So trustworthiness, responsibility, respect, fairness, caring, and friendship. And I have, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, citizenship. So these skateboards represent how you're supposed to role model inside the classroom and also outside the classroom as well. And I try to keep that up there as a reminder. So that's that. Over here, uh, nothing else but a project board. I normally update this uh, very frequently during the school year. So over here we have kindergarten, what they're doing, first grade, what they're doing, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade are what they're doing. And it's it's updated at least once or twice a month, depending on how long projects take. So for instance, tessellations only take about three to four weeks. Uh, Google project, two weeks. Um, this one's just a day project, that's just a day project. And then that's how you guys base off it. So anyways, that's the tour of the art room. And unfortunately we can't be here, so let's tour what I'm about to be teaching in. Two hours later. I'm home and we're gonna go to my studio, which is in the basement, and I'll show you guys what it's like. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you around. Let's get going. All right, in the basement, we're gonna hang a left right down the stairs, and my studio is right behind this curtain. So it's a decent sized room as an office in the basement, and uh, this is where I normally do all my filming and just hang out and stuff. So we'll start from the right side and uh, make our way around. So over here, it's computer setup. The computer's actually on the other side of the room. Actually, I can show you. <laughs> the uh, computer is over there. Here it is. Ta-da! There is that. So it's kind of loud. That's why it's in a separate room. And it's like 
this through the wall and then this is where I edit the videos and stuff and hang out. And over here is, I think, the class list. No little binder. Um, this is my uh, son's. <laughs> we attach it to the stroller, but it gets hot down here. So I have a little fan that I borrow once in a while. And uh, here's my desk. It's actually a kitchen countertop turned into a table. So <laughs> there's that. And uh, I, I most recently just changed this uh, today, this uh, background, to make it look more inviting as an art teacher. Um, if you see any videos where it's different, that's because I filmed it in the middle of the summer. And uh, this is going to be the new setup. So it says, let's make art over there. I changed this and I took out the glass so it doesn't reflect off of the camera. Um, there's my son and Hello Huskies. So it looks pretty nice and neat and clean, no distractions at all. And that's what I was going for. So if I turn over here, um, you'll see more of what I look at when it comes to the camera. So there's a camera. Here's my weekly checklist and my schedule for Wednesdays. My normal schedule for second grade because I'm assigned to them. And uh, some other scheduling over here that you guys don't need to know about. Uh, some books I'm going to do a couple of readings of. Uh, here's some of my artwork, which I'll show you guys some other time. Um, over here is my wife's laptop, and I use this sometimes for um, going to going live. Uh, because if you notice, my computer has no webcam or anything, so I either have to wheel this thing all the way across the room and face towards me, or easier, just take my wife's laptop and uh, go from there. So it's a little easier that way. So anyways, here's the camera. And uh, what's nice about it is that it's hooked up to the monitor over there. So instead of seeing this view from like, you guys can see this, uh, from the little tiny screen over there, it actually pops up down there. So there I am over there. Hello. So that way it's a little bit easier to see myself instead of looking at that tiny screen if I'm in focus. So there's that. Here's the microphone. That's how you guys can hear me and how I could get better audio. I have two really giant lights over here. <laughs> and um, more of the scheduling over here. And so on. And here's the back end. You guys don't need to see this over here, but since I'm in my basement, <laughs> here's the uh, little clutter I have of a mess over here. Anyways, that's it um, for supplies. I got the supplies I need over here. Markers over there. There's supplies over here. Supplies everywhere, actually. There's a whole bunch of markers down here and supplies down here. These are all markers. This whole bin up there is all markers. Let's see if I can see it. Oh, those are all. Oh. Those are all markers. Oh, and I have this wheelie cart. I forgot to tell you guys. <sighs> this is all art supplies and stuff. And uh, oh, I'm not sure if I ever told you guys, but this desk is amazing. So um, if I just move my wife's laptop and I remove these books. Oh, I have a cell phone holder here too. Smartest idea ever. So I just put a car phone mount over here and then it goes with me. So I'm just gonna turn this off just in case. And move this aside. So this is actually not just a drawing desk, this is an architectural uh, desk, so as you can see it's on really strong legs. So if it just go like this, oh, check this out, oh, oh there goes the lamp, <laughs> let's just put it to the side for now. So this thing can go all the way down like this, check that out, and then I can kind of like this scooch it up, oh, if I wanted to, and then be, make it become really high, why is this stretching, oh it's plugged in, that's why. <laughs> Hold on, give me one sec. Okay, anyways, I disconnected <laughs> that light from the wall. That's why it was being stubborn. Um, so anyways, this table can go like this. Really low. Really cool looking. Um, it can also go like this. Oh, really high up. So it could be like a standing one, really cool. And then, of course, what it was before. Really flat, oh, without hitting the wall. Ta-da. One at this low though, just like this. Then once you lock it in place, it's gotta press that little lever. Ta-da! So, anyways, that's my little filming setup, and I'll get back to you guys in a moment. All right. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick art tour of the Soda Bee Art Room. I guess I hope you guys are enjoying yourself and staying safe. Uh, that's basically it. So this is how the normal format is how my videos are, and I normally film down with this camera, and uh, I can monitor it from over there. And uh, this is the microphone I'm gonna use. Uh, when it comes to the Wednesday Go Live sessions, uh, I'll be on a different computer. If not, I'll have to drag this all the way to the other side and I don't feel like doing that. This is, gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be how the Monday videos are. The videos will be posted on my YouTube channel on Mondays at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, if they're not there, they'll be scheduled for that day as well. Try not to be late as well either. So there's that. Uh, if you guys are wondering, um, I'm gonna be with second grade mainly for the small group instructions from 1245 to 145 uh, on the daily. 
Uh, and then um, we alternate as uh, specials for um, STL meetings in the morning for 15 minutes. So this week I'll be with second grade again. Uh, next week I'll be with third grade, next week fourth grade, next week fifth grade, and then the following week after that, which is I think week five, I'll be with uh, kindergarten, and then finally week six I'll be with uh, first grade, and that should be, I'm looking at my calendar, <laughs> that should be uh, around September 28th, so into October basically. So anyways, that's the schedule, that's how the new setup's going to be from now on. I really wish I was in the art room with you guys, I really do, doing some fun projects, supplying you guys with all the supplies that you guys need. But um, I'll do my best to make some really cool art videos and uh, some cool instructions that you guys can do at home. And I'll try to make sure it doesn't require anything too expensive. Just the basic supplies. So if you're wondering about a supply list or anything for your students and uh, for you guys at home, uh, I'm just going to leave like a little thing on the side, probably over here. And then uh, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I can't wait to see you guys this week. And if I don't see you this week, I'll see you guys next week. All right. Have a good one.